The following is presented as a supplement to the Bell & Gossett Series 80 Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual. Close the isolation valves on the suction and discharge sides of the pump. You must drain the system if no valves are installed. If installed, open the drain valve, otherwise remove the drain plugs from the volute. Leave the drain valve open and remove the drain plug located on the bottom of the pump housing. Remove the pump assembly. Loosen the volute cap screws, but do not remove them. Use the cap screws in the jack screw holes in order to loosen the pump assembly from the volute. Remove the volute cap screws. Remove the pump assembly from the volute. Use proper equipment whenever doing so. Remove the impeller. Remove the impeller cap screw. Remove the lock washer and the washer. Remove the impeller. Remove the mechanical seal. Remove the rotating portion of the seal. If necessary, use a screwdriver to loosen the rubber ring. Remove the seal insert, the insert gasket, and the retainer if it is used. Replacement guidelines. Gaskets, O-rings, and seats replacement. Remove the motor bracket cap screws. Remove the motor bracket from the motor. Shaft and sleeve inspection. Thoroughly clean the shaft and the sleeve. If necessary, use a fine emery cloth to polish the shaft sleeve. Then, thoroughly clean the shaft and sleeve. Flip the motor bracket over and use a screwdriver to remove the seal insert. Then, flip the bracket back over to remove the insert gasket and the retainer if it is installed. Thoroughly clean the cover plate seal cavity. Inspect the surface for damage such as pitting, corrosion, nicks and scratches. Use a fine emery cloth to repair any damage. Replace any damaged parts that cannot be repaired. Completely remove all volute fiber gasket material from the motor bracket and volute faces. Thoroughly clean both components mating surfaces. Reassembly. Assemble the standard mechanical seal. Lubricate the shaft sleeve and motor bracket seal cavity with soapy water. Install a new insert gasket. Reattach the motor bracket to the motor and tighten all cap screws. Use a clean cloth to make sure the seal insert and shaft sleeve are free from any debris. Apply soapy water to the shaft sleeve and inside section of the elastomer of the seal rotating assembly. Slide a new rotating seal assembly onto the shaft sleeve. Push the top of the compression ring with a screwdriver until the seal is tight against the seal insert. Install the seal spring and point the narrow end toward the seal. Install the impeller, impeller washer, lock washer, and cap screw. Tighten the cap screw according to the cap screw torque values table. Reinstall the pump assembly. Install a new volute gasket. Install the pump assembly into the volute. Tighten the volute cap screws according to the cap screw torque table. Install the drain plug and close the drain valve. Open the isolation valve and inspect the pump for leaks. Return the pump to service if it is not leaking. 